Hey guys, I'm back and a few people have been asking about the V8 teardown. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this one down so you can see um, it's very close to the V6 uh, up to a certain point. And so I'll go ahead and demonstrate how you tear this one down and put it back together for those who have a V8. And, uh, and then hopefully that'll help you out. So first thing you wanna do is <clears throat> you're gonna pull straight up on the cyclone assembly. That drops this uh, can open. And down here you have a little latch that you're going to pop, you're gonna press, and then that's going to release this, this uh, can here, or the, uh, the dirt cup. After that, there's a little red button on either side. You're gonna press that button and then that, this slides out, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to remove your four screws, four torque screws. Um, these are in T9. Yeah. I think they're T9. They're T10 actually. So T9 works. It's close enough. So you're going to remove your T10 screws here, your four. This is going to come, <clears throat> just pull straight out. Set those aside. Okay, and then from there, this, from there, the teardown is very similar to the V6. So you have your, um, your kind of your screen filter that you're going to get a flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver. You're going to stick it in between this area here, and you want to just kind of start to pull it towards you as you're spinning it around and you'll feel the uh, clips release I'm also uh, with my right hand I'm also uh, pulling out where I'm trying to grab this and pull it outward as I'm unclipping it okay so you're you've got your flat blade screwdriver and then you're just kind of pulling this along and you'll feel the clips release as you're pulling it across and I'll show you the clips so you can see it You can see the clips here. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Yeah, there's five clips, and they're just out, just next to these little areas on that side. See that? So, just a little visual for if you haven't taken it apart yet. Okay. Now you're gonna take your uh, your five screws out here. Okay, then this pulls out, take the filter out. Now you can take this filter apart, I, re I recommend this, if you've seen my V6 video, I recommend uh, taking this filter apart here by uh, sticking something like a flat blade screwdriver under there and then you can pull these clips off. That pulls the plastic frame out of this so that you can clean it so much better. Um, it's really hard to clean well if you leave the frame inside of here. So, soap and water, dish soap. Okay, now that you got this out, you have two small screws on the outside, and then four on the inside, and they're longer. Okay, and comes apart and then you have two gaskets you can peel up and take that off and be gentle washing these these can tear easily so if you're washing these filters I just use a small like a delicate kind of paintbrush with soap and water 
And then there's a black one in here. And this is usually the one I'll accidentally tear if you're not careful pulling it out. So be careful, nice and gentle. Okay, this part here pulls out and this pulls out here. Okay, so now you're ready, you got your parts cleaned, you're ready to put it back together. So first thing you're gonna start with is this, this top piece here. Um, stick your, I don't really know the title of all these parts, so I'm just gonna say pieces and parts. You can go based on the, the look of it. You're gonna put your gasket on. Um, one way to tell if you don't, if you didn't make a mark on it, one way to tell uh, which way is up is the indentations are usually deeper on the the side facing that's going to be facing up here that's going against uh, this this part. That's one little trick to be able to tell. Hope everybody stays safe during the. Uh, COVID-19. If you like this material, by the way, um, subscribe and comment if you want to see more, more videos and what you would like to see. All right, get your uh, gaskets back in there and you're going to set this piece in here, press that in firmly. Now you're going to, you've got your two pieces here. You're going to connect these together before you assemble it. So if you look closely, there's a little, there's a little groove right here on either side. And that's what slides in with the round side facing up. And that slides in right into this channel right here. Just like that. Okay. And you, and you can see, actually see the uh, two holes here will line up perfectly. All right, and this flips around and then sets right back in place. Okay, and get your screws in. tip on this gun here is a little bit more magnetic so it's a little easier uh, one trick you could do is you sometimes you could set the screws in there in place first and then when you lower it it uh, it will it should align the screws but sometimes the screws crooked and uh, and it doesn't align very easily so some cases you can put them in first, but in this case, I usually do it afterwards. And then you got your two small ones back here. Don't forget those. And this is a Torx 8, which is pretty much all these screws. Except for I think I told you the, uh, the other four, the four that hold that bracket piece on there are 10. So you have to get yourself a, a Torx bit. You don't need the separator tool uh, for the V8, obviously, as you can see. Okay, now this piece here, you're gonna, you're gonna kind of put it in at an angle like that, and then and then kind of hinge it down. Just press it nice and firmly so that it's nice and tight, and put your piece up on over here, and your screws, five tall screws. And if you notice, I was using the gun just to get it started, and then I'm hand tightening with the screwdriver. Tight, didn't twist it too much though. Okay. Wrong screwdriver. I'm pretty amazed at how many people will watch these videos. I was uh, originally just uncertain on this whole thing hesitant to uh, post a video and I did and been fairly uh, surprised at the uh, response so that's been kind of cool 
All right, so you take your piece here, you're gonna, you have that flat side. You can see the flat side is gonna line up with this flat side right here. And uh, just get it lined up and then just press firmly down. Okay. And then just run it around. And make sure you're pressing firmly to make sure that all gets popped in correctly. Um, then you're going to slide this back on. You can see the gasket here wants to kind of is going to stick out past it. So you have to push it in there and you'll see the gasket kind of just pop around it. It'll just pop right out around it, but you don't want that pinched. And screw that in. What's going on? Oh, it's not lined up. I already cleaned this machine and uh, I forgot to record the uh, teardown and cleaned it and reassembled it and I forgot to record it and then someone reminded me that they won that the V8 was different I kind of assumed that people would see that they're similar close enough but they're not really so I apologize and assuming that okay now what you're gonna do here is you can see this this bracket here is going to slide down right that's a pretty good angle right there. Right down, just like that. And then you're gonna pull it back up to install your dirt cup. And this is a little tricky because these pieces up here usually wanna bind up. So, but what you have, to keep, you have to keep an eye on is watch this plug and your, your goal is gonna be getting that plug inserted right into these. Uh, those are the female plugs there. So you're gonna get that all lined up as if you can. So I got it in there and then and then it clicks. Close that and then you're good to go. By the way, if you have a pulsing cordless Dyson, you notice here it's pulsing. When it pulses, that's indicating a clog. So anytime you have a pulsing Dyson, you have a clog. It's either going to be the broke, uh, the filter is really, really clogged up because you probably haven't been removing the frame. So you can either replace the filter or clean it and take the frame out when you clean it. Or, um, or there's actually a blockage in the, in the machine. Usually it's right here. It's usually right in here because there's a little flapper there. Sometimes things can catch in there. Or it's right on the intake of your head. Um, and I don't have the head on this one, so I can't show you. But it's uh, usually one or two places. Okay, I hope this helps. I hope this, this was valuable to everyone. Um, I do have a PayPal email if you're interested in uh, throwing in uh, a, a little tip, if this was valuable for you. And like and subscribe, and I will continue to put out some more content. Thanks.